hello viewers welcome to another tutorial in this tutorial we will learn how to get xy coordinate or latitudinal and longitudinal coordinate in QGIS in the form of point feature for that we have a excel file and in this excel file you can see here this column this latitudinal value and this column shows the longitudinal values and this x and y values represent the different cities and other attributes so i want to add this excel file in the connection with latitude and longitude for that you at first we should convert this excel file into csv file for that just click on file click on save as and select the save as type as comma delimited that means csv and you can change the file name as a table so and after that you assign your folder name so after that click on save okay so after that you just open your QGIS software in this software you just click on layer and here click on add layer and search the add delimited text layer icon and just click on it after that you just search from the file name menu just click on this three point and navigate your folder and select that csv file that is table click on open so you can see here the file name layer name as well as the sample data you can read from here so after that some important setup you should do first one is file format you, just, you should select this file format as a csv after that the geometry definition you should select on point coordinate because we have x and y values or y coordinate and you can see here x field and y field because we have x and y latitude and longitudinal values and you should remember that the x field assigned with longitude and the y field should assign with latitude and if you have the three dimensional that means height information so you can select the z field so you don't have that field so after that you should assign the geometry that means that crs if it is not assigned just click on here or you can click on drop down and select this epsg 4326 as a default so after that just click on add and close so you can see here the wall point feature that we have added from the uh, CSV file already open in QGIS. If you want to justify the whatever this XY uh, values or coordinate is valid or not, you can click the web and you can uh, install this quick map service from the plugin option. So I want to show this quick map service and just click on navigate open street map and just click on open street map standard so these are the open street map from the part of india and you can see the if you zoom it so you can see here so this is coach Bihar. if you want to uh, level of all of this uh, point feature just click on table go to properties click on symbology and you can change here from here the symbol as well the level click on here single and you can click from drop down menu the name and apply and ok so you can see here the name of each fine feature so this is the open street map if you want to see this on google map you can also can open this so we have acmgis is another plugin you can easily install from plugin option so click here this place map and go to google satellite okay so google satellite will open here already opened here just uncheck this and if you zoom it so you can see here within the google map this goes via city so our x and y uh, coordinate that we have added in QJS 
is totally correct but if you uh, click on this table that csv file click on properties go to information and here you can see the storage the delimited text file that means your xy coordinate value that you added in qjs is not geographically assigned for that you should assign this a uh, point feature in geographical coordinate system so for that click on here go to export and click on save feature as so after that you should select this format as is reshape file and click on the file name where you want to save it so and write your file name as city point so after that just click on save and you should select the crs as a default you can here or you can just click and whatever you want to set your crs you can select from here so after that click on ok so now we can remove uh, this table because this uh, point feature is not geographical assigned so i want to remove this so now if we go again go to properties and you can now see the storage that that means the history safe file so now your point file is geographically assigned and you can do any kind of further work from this point feature so uh, if you have a safe file you can open here so i have a safe file i just want to open here just click on it and again click on layer go to here click on properties and go to symbology click on simple file click on fill color drop down menu click on transparent and uh, increase your stroke width and click ok so after that click on zoom to layer so now we can see here the save file as well as the all point feature if you want to show the name of each point feature according to the label just click on here go to properties click on label select single levels after that click on the values as a name i want to name of each cities so after if you want to increase the font size you can increase from here click apply and ok so all the point feature and their respective level already appears not only that whatever you have data exported from excel file you can see here just click on here and go to open attribute table you can see the all the attribute whatever was in excel file so all this attribute you can see here the type of cities latitude longitude value and total population so when you add this xy coordinate from excel file to here so all the attribute whatever was in the excel file you can add here and if you want to again check with uh, google map google satellite you can easily click here so you can see or you can check here or you can check from the open state map so you can see here the all the point feature are geographically assigned and correct so after that according to a need you can do the further proceeding on the basis of your xy field so thank you for watching and please subscribe our channel for more update thank you thank you again